tell us again, um, you were saying earlier about what a wine, a great wine, or not a great wine, but a good wine at least, it, it's not something that you should be very certain about, right? It's, it leaves you a question? Well, yeah, I think, I, quite a, what do you mean by that? I always say that the, the, the very best wines end with a question mark, not with an exclamation. If they tell you all they've got to tell you straight away, well, what's great about them? it? It's the fact that you have to examine the wine and yourself and look into it, and, and the interest, a, a great wine is interesting for a very long time, in your mouth and in your mind. Whereas, um, you see, I can't understand how tasters rattle through 50 or 100 wines. They make up their minds absolutely about them, one stiff, one spit, one note, and that's it, they've done that wine. I, mean, I never could do that, and I never wanted to do that. I mean, I have to make real acquaintance with all that. I mean, I may not like it, and I may not bother, but if I like it, then I'll go on looking at it and thinking about it for, hopefully, until I find some words that I think express it. Yeah. And no way will I just give it a score. But you, you were saying earlier also that you're not too worried sometimes about the modern style winemaking or the, the higher levels of alcohol because the terroir will show through, the typicity in the end? Or is there a sort of limit where you, know, you can go too far sometimes? Well, the jury's out because they haven't been making wine in this extreme style for all that long. Um, but I think previous evidence indicates that maturity will bring it back to to its terror more or less okay I, I hope that's right otherwise what's the point of terror <laughs> are there are there some wines in Bordeaux that you really like that are more classical in style you just could you come up with any you know, a few names maybe well I don't want to start rattling off okay now, okay it would be very, very incomplete but uh, we know you know most wine drinkers know about the ones that have been most altered by fashion, let's put it that way, it's the other way around. I mean, by no means all the Bordeaux has been invaded by fashion, far from it. I and mean, people are picking grapes, you know, they, you know, they believe in a higher degree of ripeness. But then nature also comes in and um, upsets their plans and... Uh, I, I, I don't, you know, uh, there are champion wines, there absolutely are. I mean, one of the most uncanny things is the way the first growths always turn out to be first growths. I mean, it's very rare that you can stay for first growth. Partly because they spend as much money as it takes on them. You know, they take infinite pains, they've got a lot of experience, um, and they've, you know, that terroir has been worked over and studied for centuries. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the... Uh, I mean, in, in the sort of middle ranks where I do a lot of drinking, say in the Medoc, I mean, I drink a lot of wine from Moody and uh, Listrak. I like those sort of very typically Medoc, slightly hard wines. Mm. Um, I don't make great distinctions between one shadow and another. I, I did a tasting with uh, the um, um, Jean, uh, Jean-Luc Tunevin, who had me do a blind tasting of uh, two 2000 Bordeaux. Um, one was a very, very traditional one on the left, as it turned out, and one was a much more modern style on the right. And he, he knew what he was doing because he kind of guessed what my, my preference would be. And I really liked the one on the left more, even though I didn't think it was perfect. Uh, and the one on the right I thought was very slick. Yeah. And so what the wines were, were uh, uh, Dufour Vivant's 2000 Margot on the left, which mm -hmm. is not a great, great Margot. Yeah, and, the one on the, and the one on the right was Haute uh, you oh, know, really? which is very, yeah, very, you know, yeah. sort of, you know, much more, yeah. much more clean. It's cleaner yeah. wine, but it was a little bit slick. Slick is an interesting word because I would normally think I'd try to not like slick wine. I can think of slick champagnes that really aren't very interesting. Right. Um, well, just my favourite part of the bottle is that bit there. Lucky you. Why is that? <laughs> That's how far down he'd got. Well, thank you very much. It was a way of indicating I didn't want a hell of a lot as well. <laughs>